Every day, people come across different animals and sometimes don't really know how much help these creatures need. Living in a world ruled by humans is anything but simple. Very often, animals come across different misfortunes and trouble and can't deal with them without our support. Here are again 10 cases of human large-heartedness towards animal world. Cat moms always try to hide her children in some safe place. But sometimes, her choice of this place is not really adequate. The team from Hope for Paws got a call about a kitty that brought her children to the balcony. It's not the best location for poor little things. Firstly, the rescuers decided to separate the mom. The people living in that place had brought a box to give babies a safer shelter. But it didn't help, really, so the rescuers wanted to take them out. The people brought the children to the shelter, where all the kittens were washed and dried. Now the cuties don't need to live in the street and risk their lives every day. The injured dog was helplessly dragging himself along the gutter. The poor creature was terribly hit in the head by a car and he would have had no chance to survive if the people from Animal Aid Unlimited India hadn't come to help the dog. He was disoriented completely. The rescuers took the unlucky guy to the hospital, where the doctors treated him immediately from pain and brain trauma. The rescuers didn't know if they would manage to save him, but they were trying. He felt really bad for several days. On the third day, the pup started eating. The boy had to learn to walk, and the doctors were helping him. Unfortunately, the dog lost one of his eyes, but otherwise, he made a complete recovery. Snakes also have to deal with human presence, and sometimes they have a lot of troubles with it. They often come to houses and sometimes hide in vehicles. This one was hiding under a car dashboard of the car when the people from Rosso Ovidio channel came to rescue the reptile. It was a really difficult task to release the tricky thing without hurting it. Of course, the creature didn't like being disturbed and was struggling actively. But the rescuers did their work very well, and the snake was safe and sound. This terrible situation happened to the poor one-year-old leopard in Mahasharatra, India. The Wildlife SOS organization found him and brought him to the rescue center. The first checking showed that the forelimbs couldn't move, and there were a lot of serious wounds on his neck. As the specialist thought, the wild animal was hurt by another leopard in the fighting. The doctors were doing their best, trying to bring the young cat to normal life. The vets carried a series of extended medical treatments to do that. After months of therapy, he began to walk again. Apollo was the name of a cute little rhino calf which was successfully rescued on the 19th of September. The representatives of Sheldrick Wildlife Trust in Kenya got the call about the poor creature which had just been spotted standing beside his dead mother. The young calf needed to be rescued before it fled too far from its mother. So, people sent a helicopter to take the baby out. Once the helicopter arrived on site, the calf got scared and took off in the opposite direction. The flying and ground team spent a lot of time searching for the tricky boy. Daylight was fast running out, and the rescuers knew that the baby wouldn't survive the night because there were a lot of predators around. It took the people a lot of effort to locate and took the rhino to the rescue center. But now, Apollo, as the baby was named, has a good chance to live a happy rhino life. Manatees are extremely rare animals, and every individual matters a lot. That's why the specialists from Clearwater Marine Aquarium rushed to save a baby manatee that was found alone without his mother nearby. The male manatee calf was about two to three weeks old. Rescuers carefully took him to the rescue truck and transported him to a rehab center. He was tenderly covered with a towel and splashed with water to prepare for the long journey. The rescuers were constantly feeding and watering the poor baby during the trip, preventing dehydration. After the long trip, the boy was handed off to the rehab center team, and now the little manatee feels quite well. While trying to rescue stranded fish in a drying puddle, the man Raymond Powers by name found a barred owl tangled in fishing line. The poor bird was sitting helplessly and couldn't move. It was a rather difficult task for the man to get to the owl, which was sitting on the branch hanging over the water. First of all, he cut off the fishing lines. Raymond even got his clothes wet, trying to reach the tangled bird. He used his wet t-shirt to take the owl in his hands. Successfully, he managed to save the lucky owl. 
Nobody knows how the dog Jimmy by name got to that cliff, but he got stuck on rocks and didn't know how to get out. The firefighters from Victoria Country Fire Authority in Australia rushed for help. Using their equipment, the firefighters managed to take out the poor guy out of the place, where he would have never been able to get out from by himself. Jimmy was really happy. No less happy was his owner, who was successfully reunited with his best friend. Here is one more snake that got into a house and was badly needed to be rescued. The non-venomous wolf snake was hiding under some staff and was really hard to get to the reptile. The snake didn't want to be taken out of her warm and cozy place, but living in the human's house is not a good thing for any wild creature. It can be dangerous for it. The rescuers took the snake far from human settlements and released it into the wild. The strange thing happened to the rescue team of wildlife aid. During one day, they had three cases of swan landing on a busy highway. The birds should be rescued immediately. M25 is the busiest road in the UK, so the chances for survival if the bird was left alone were very poor. Simon Cowell supposed that this situation was taking place because of the swan migration. On finding the bird, workers blocked the road and called the rescuers. But the swan didn't want to be rescued at all. It was hissing aggressively and didn't let Simon come close. Come on then, swan. Let's get you back to a river. No, don't peck me. Don't be unkind. When he managed to catch the bird at last, it became a real problem to hold the bird in his hands, as it was rather big and struggling actively. Simon had to tie the bird to bring it to a river. He brought the bird to the hospital to check its health condition. There was another swan that had been found in the same conditions a bit earlier. Next day, both swans were released to the wild near the river. This is the end of this list, and I hope you find all these things people do very important. If you think in this way, support them with your likes, subscriptions, and donations. All that staff is sure to help the rescuers do their prominent work.